I'm actually glad I'm alive because then I can tell my story. It's a story we don't hear much but needs to be shared. One man's journey to finding his authentic self and discovering his gender identity. We talk about issues impacting transgender people in the news, but rarely do we hear from them. So I reached out on Facebook and connected with Jay. Recently, I met up with him at a local park because he didn't feel safe showing his home on camera. Becoming Jay is a story you'll see only on 27. I'm Jay, Michael Christie. I'm 25. I live in Girard. As we sat at a picnic bench in Churchill Park, flanked by his senior picture, he reflected on growing up as Jeannie, born Geneva Rose in September 1990. Oh, you know, I got to put on a fake smile and be happy and knowing inside I'm dying. Childhood pictures show the evolution from toothless infant through elementary, middle and high school to the last time he ever wore a dress at junior prom. I'm doing the whole dress thing, wearing makeup and I'm just like in high heels and I was like, no, he, I can't do it anymore. But Jay knew long before then she was really a he. Every time I looked in the mirrors, like something didn't fall right. I was born in a female's body, but I was born in the wrong body. So I'm technically a male, just stuck in the wrong body. Jay often feels alone, but he's far from it. It's empty now, but imagine this playground packed with kids, a thousand of them coming here throughout the summer. A new report estimates six of them, by the time they reach adulthood, will identify as transgender. Researchers at the Williams Institute, a think tank at UCLA Law, just released updated numbers two weeks ago. They say almost 1.4 million American adults are transgender, about 0.6 percent. That's double the estimates from just a decade ago. When you look at the state rankings, Ohio comes in 34th at 0.45 percent with almost 40,000, and Pennsylvania just behind at 0.44 percent with almost 44,000. But Jay is more than a statistic. I'm like this 24 hours a day. <laughs> He's a human being who struggles to stay upbeat with so many challenges in life. There's a few times where I literally tried to overdose on pills so I wasn't here anymore because I couldn't do it. It is very hard um, and the, the depression takes a lot over. It, it really does. But you just got to keep uplifting and you just got to keep them positive and keep the road on the right path. That's where his support system comes in. His friends Brandon and Roger, plus his cousins, godmother, mom, and brother. It helps me so I'm not like alone because there's days where I feel like I'm alone. We support Jay completely 100%. But not everyone does. And for those who don't, he has this message. We have hearts. We have, we bleed the same blood as you guys do. Yes, we're in the wrong bodies, but like, you got to get to know us before judging us pretty much. Life's too short to be unhappy. And uh, that's why I love Jay. Is she's not afraid to be herself. Now, Jay is seeing a counselor now and plans to legally change his name in the coming months. He also wants to start hormone replacement therapy soon as part of his physical transition. He's working as a dishwasher at a local restaurant, but wants to one day be a chef in his own restaurant. 